The final race on day one is the first race of the Mackerson meeting from Cheltenham and it's the Presbury Park Juvenile Hurdle. It's a class one grade two for four year olds and they've got a pretty good looking field pretty much all the four year olds this week apart from the ones that have dipped out into handicaps. Top one is Red Point for Darren Thompson, winner three times already this season, unbeaten. Arcadian Jim Murray, Bonfire Schwill, Dan Hughes, more of the same, Joshua Sutherland, Wait and See, Craig Beckwith, Blizzard Kilroy, Dan Hughes, Classy David Hooley, Crusading Baranka for Craig Allen, Alina Avery, Alex Cherry, Jailbreak, Leon Van Rensburg, Littlecoat Grand, Derek Hinton, Moving Guerre, Ryan Costello, Newlands and Nigella Lawson for Paul Rhodes, Paperweight Finder, David Robertson, Piranha Lassie, Ryan Costello, Royal Portrait, Jim Murray and Stirred Not Shaken for Ryan Tamasevi. So 18 then away and racing in the rain at Cheltenham and Moving Guerre is going to be the first one to show as they make their way down towards the first of eight flights in this Triumph Hurdle trial as they get down to it and they're all safely over it with Moving Guerre the leader Piranha Lassie has moved through to second that could well be a 1-2 for Ryan Costello at the moment Alex Cherry's Alina Avery is in third and then a gap back to Bonfire Schwill in fourth and then the rest of them in a bit of a heap as they come past the stand a bit of, bit of a Spartan looking crowd today but it is raining and it's the first race so they're probably all in the bar and it's moving Guerre in the lead from Parana Lassie in second and Alina Avery in third Bonfire Schwill is in fourth then Royal Portrait with the red sleeves they get over flight number two which they're all safely to the other side of with Classy in the purple jacket and running wide on the track just the early back marker but they're making their way out now they've just gone past the winning post as you can see and it's Moving Guerre in the lead Moving Guerre then from in second place Piranha Lassie bit of a gap back to Alina Avery as they climb uphill then on the inside is Red Point unbeaten all this season three races three wins looking pretty good then Bonfire Schwill on the outside more of the same as after that one then comes Jailbreak Wait and See is next then Newlands and Royal Portrait Little Coat Grand is going nicely around the inside the second of the Jim Murray horses is after that one that's Arcadian then you can see Nigella Lawson is next on the outside as they take number three which they're all safely over and still at the back is classy although stirred not shaken he's also near the back and the front uh, there's not a lot between them though really there's probably only 15 lengths first at last and there's a good long way to go yet we're not even quite at the halfway point yet so it's moving we in the lead from Piranha Lassie in second and then Alina Avery in red point then Bonfire Schwill and more of the same and then Royal Portrait and wait and see and then Newlands as they get over number four that's the midway point in the jump in as well now then and as we see them from the other side racing uphill again it's moving Guerre from Piranha Lassie in second Royal Portrait looks to be going ominously well in third then comes Bonfire Schwill red point has got a perfect run around the inside also coming through with a run there now is Jail Break. that one's making its move early with six furlongs to go and he's bursting through to take a challenge for second as they get over the fifth and over that one they go the two struggling at the back of classy and blizzard kilroy but it's moving where he's got still in the lead by length from jailbreak is moved into second then royal portrait piranha lassie red point is next then coming through now is paperweight finder more of the same is after that one and there's one or two of these now trying to get into it as well newlands is running on as well also trying to come through his little coat grand the gray that's running on really nicely is crusading baranka but but it's moving Guerre in the lead. Moving Guerre's in the lead. Being challenged now then by Jailbreak. Over to third last they go. Good jump by the leader. Got away from it well. Here comes Red Point now. Throwing down the challenge in second. And bursting through. He's still not shaken. That was right out of the back before. More of the same is also coming for a run. There's wide open races. Any in with chances. Also running off from the back is Classy. Over the second last they go. And now Jailbreak and more of the same. Paperweight finder. Red Point being pushed along. Coming back through on the inside. Royal Portrait. But Jailbreak's burst for home. Jailbreak has broken free in the lead. He's about two lengths clear of Red Point who's trying to throw down a big challenge on the outside wants to keep that unbeaten record. Coming out towards the final flight then it's Jailbreak in the lead from Red Point and Royal Portrait. These three are clear of Paperweight Finder. It's Jailbreak and Royal Portrait. Red Point's going to lose his unbeaten record and pass the post. It's just Royal Portrait that took it from Jailbreak second. Paperweight Finder ran on to be fourth. Arcadian was one of two that Pulled out right at the end of the race. Just pulled up after the final flight, but it's a win. It's a stewards inquiry though. They might have gone a little bit close, but Royal Portrait has kept it. Royal Portrait wins it for Jim Murray. Jailbreak for Leon Van Rensburg second. Red point unbeaten record gone. Back in third for Darren Thompson. Paperweight finder for David Robertson was fourth and stirred not shaken for Ryan Tamasevi was fifth. But take a look at that. That was a grade two. Red point having to give weight away there with a penalty so 
Come triumph hurdle time, Red Point might just turn the tables. We'll have to, as the seventh place horse might say, wait and see.